Hi, this is Lil King Jr. 1 with Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Tutorials, and today I'll be teaching you how to add CTRs or custom tracked rides to your Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 game. So we're going to start off by going to a website. I chose Rollercoaster Tycoon Database, as you can see, to get the Griffin CTR, which is most commonly known and wanted by people. And as you can see, I put the address here so you can copy it and put it in and follow with me or hopefully I'll put a little annotation there for you so you can just click it and go to the website I don't know there it is for you to copy okay let's continue down to the little download button which you will find right there so you're gonna put the download button right there and you're gonna press open usually open in a dot zip file if it's .rar, you might need to get WinRAR, which is a freeware program you can get. Anyways, it opens up, and you want to read the README file before doing anything else because it may include special information. Now, this set was made in a different country, so some of it's in different languages, but usually you can distinguish it. Coaster, you're going to um, right-click on that. Usually there's a folder named Coaster, and you're going to copy that. My computer's being dumb right now, and it's not choosing to copy, but just imagine I'm copying it. And then you're going to go to my computer after you copied the file. You're going to open up uh, your local disk or your hard drive. You're going to go to program files, and then the folder named Atari. Open that up. And then you're going to open up Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. Then you're gonna go to tracks, the folder. You're gonna open up the folder named tracks. You're gonna open up the folder that says tracked rides. So you open up tracked rides. And then you're gonna paste the folder that you just copied into this folder. You're basically pasting all the information the coaster needs for the tracks of the ride. If the track looks different or something like that. So right now you're adding the track information. So after you paste that, you go back to the original .zip file, and then you go to the cars. Um, I know it's named different, but it's in a different language, so usually it'll be named cars or something along the lines of that. So you want to copy the folder that says cars, just like you did with coasters. But instead of putting it in tracked ride, you're going to put it in a different folder. So you're going to go back to the folder. You just want to. I don't know why I closed it. You can just leave it open. And you're going to go to the folder named Cars. You're going to open that folder. And there should be another folder in there, Tracked Ride Cars. You're going to open up, open up that. And in this folder is where you're going to paste the folder you just copied. Now this is basically pasting the cars needed to run the ride, or the custom tracked ride you're adding. So that's basically it. Then you're going to close everything down and you're going to run the game just like normal. You're going to go to rides and it's going to just be in the regular rides folder. And you're going to scroll down and find it. Sorry it takes me a little while to find it because I have such a long list of custom tracked rides. But you can go to various websites and get many cool custom tracked rides like I can't even think of one. Like you can get Indiana Jones styled cars where you can make a move around and stuff like that. You get really neat different cars that people make on the web. Right now I'm doing Griffin though. There it is. So you're going to click on it. It may or may not have a picture. And with Griffin, it specifically doesn't have a station, so don't worry about that. Even though it says station, it's not going to draw you a station. You can make your own station. And then you make your track just like normal. I'm going to make a really small one here. Now play around with the extra features of the track because usually you have a lot of options like dive loops and stuff like that, fun inversions. So as you can see I successfully installed it. There are the special cars right there on the custom made track. Actually this isn't a custom track but some custom track rides actually use custom tracks. And you can see it's working perfectly. Obviously it stopped because it doesn't have enough momentum but anyways. 
So that's it. Fully installed. So that's it with this tutorial for how to add custom track rides. I hope you like it. Check out my other tutorials and thank you for watching.